Hey guys, it's Kayla and Mark Allen. We like to travel a lot, especially to Disney World. Follow along on our journey as we give you tips and tricks to help you create your own ever after. Good evening from Disney Springs. Guys, we have a really fun video for you tonight. Um, we just got here like an hour ago. Like, yeah, to, to Disney. To Disney. Um, but we are starving and we are going to take you guys on a really awesome food tour. Yeah. Um, we have some really exciting stuff planned for this evening. So first stop, we are going to see about maybe checking in to Gideon's and... I don't know. I'm not going to be super disappointed if we don't. But, but there's like hardly any people here right now yeah. at Disney Springs. This is like the least busy I think I've ever seen it. And it's about so it's like 4.30. 4.30 on um, a Sunday. So we'll see. Maybe we'll have some luck. But are you ready to go eat some delicious deliciousness? Yes. I'm so hungry. Let's go. So our first stop, well, technically second, because we did just check into Gideon's and it was about an hour wait. So while we're waiting for that, we decided to come over to Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar and we have a special surprise of what we ordered. But I wanted to talk about the napkins. I know this might sound really dumb, but the napkins are like little shop rags. Like how cool is this? I am already so excited. Like inside, like 10 out of 10 on the environment and the ambiance in here, it's so fun and the theming is so detailed. Trusty Revolver, which I'll read what's in that. It has Bullite Rye Whiskey, Tipler's Orange liqueur, and uh, Luxardo Cherries. And then um, what's really cool about this is that it comes, we'll show you the footage, but it comes with a dish over top that's filled with smoke. So they'll take it off so you have like smoke. So it's kind of like the Temple of Doom movie. Oh, it's so much fun. And if you didn't know, this restaurant is based off of kind of Indiana Jones. It's like the pilot from Indiana Jones. Jock Lindsay was his name. Um, and so this is like his hangar. So the theming in here is absolutely incredible. Um, but we're going to try this. And I'm so excited. <laughs> So the detail in here is seriously so fun. Like, I love that this glass, I don't know how well you can see it, but it's like crooked. I think it's super fun. So I'm gonna try this and see how it tastes. It's really good. It's very strong. The whiskey taste is very evident. So if you're not crazy about whiskey, there was like a margarita type one that you can do instead. But it's really good. There's definitely a lot of flavors going on in there. All right, so I'm gonna give this a try. That's very good. It does. The, the alcohol taste is very strong, but there I think there's like, obviously there's orange peel in there, so I, but I, you, I think there's orange liquor, if I remember right, that really kind of comes through towards the end. It has a really, really nice aftertaste. Um, obviously the orange peel helps, but it's super smooth. I definitely think, it definitely packs a punch, but it's very smooth and pretty easy drinking in my opinion. Wow, that is delicious. Mark Allen's speechless. He has no it's, words. It's the nice 
sweet, savory, and the smoke flavor is subtle. It's not overpowering at all, but it definitely, you can taste the smoke flavor at first, and then it you kind of it kind of comes in waves. Like you taste the smoke, you taste the chocolate, the sweetness from the chocolate, and then the savory of the bacon. So good. Definitely, if you are in Disney Springs, make sure you make this stop because this place is so fun and delicious. Now it's my turn. Oh, that looks so good. Wow. There are so many flavors happening right now. Just like Mark Allen said, you really do. You get that smokiness, but the chocolate almost has like a caramely taste to it. And it's super smooth and creamy and rich. And the bacon has some really good flavor. And it's like just crispy enough. Like it's not like a burnt crispy like where it's just gonna break, but it does have a little bit of that crunch. This is delicious. I'm so happy we came here. <laughs> How you feeling after the, that drink? Mark, Mark. Is it strong? Very strong. I did forget to mention that that is $32. So it's definitely expensive. It sounds steep, but when you think about it, it was at least two full drinks. It was two full cocktails, which when you think about it, most cocktails at Disney are between $10 and $15 anyway. So really, it was actually a pretty good bang for yeah. And that bacon was fantastic. I will say, those drinks are very strong, so definitely yeah. be warned. Yes, now we're at Gideon's and we're getting a cookie. You do have to join virtual queues, just FYI, um, but it's really easy. And since there wasn't a lot of people here today, we got in pretty quick. Yeah. I don't know what we're gonna get yet, but I think Mark Allen wants to get one of the cold brews. Yep. Yeah, so we're gonna show you inside. So we just left Gideon's and we did get a couple cookies, which we'll tell you about later after dinner because we've got a really fun place that we're going and we don't want to spoil that. But we did get a cold brew and we got the cookies and cream cold brew. In fact, it's so new, it's not even on the menu. And the kind cast member, when I actually ordered a peanut butter cold brew, she's like, you should definitely try the cookies and cream. So I went with her um, tip and here we go. That is really good. The cookies and cream is very strong, but it mixes perfectly with the cold brew. Um, it's definitely very sweet, but the flavors are balanced perfectly. The cold brew comes through, the cookies and creams comes through. The cream is very strong too. Um, I'm kind of getting a lot of the cream right now. No, that's, that's so good. The cookies comes through right away. Mm. Um, if you're here and they have this, definitely get this. Now, I will say I've not tried the peanut butter one before, but this one is definitely super good. All right, I'm gonna see what I think. I feel like this is gonna be super duper rich. There's just like a layer of like chocolate on the bottom of this or something. Wow. That's super sweet. It almost kind of reminds me of those little Starbucks like frappuccinos like in the jars that you buy like at the grocery store. It kind of reminds me of that a little bit. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. It is very good though. It's super good. I really like that. Which is polite pig. 
We have walked by this restaurant so many times and it always smells so good that we were like, we have to do this. We have to do it on our food tour. So we actually got the slider trio. So we'll be able to try three of their different like sandwich flavors. Um, and we also got the Brussels sprouts. So whenever that comes out, we'll show you guys. But I kind of like the way that this restaurant like is set up. Yeah. So it's basically like a mix of like a table service and a counter service meal. So you basically order at the counter and then they give you a pager and they bring it to you and the food's already here. Here's our food. Have you got cider trio? Holy cow, yes. Thank and then you I so have much. Brussels sprouts. Oh my word, yes. Is that everything for you today? So much. That's it. That's Thank it. Thank you. <laughs> this is a lot of food. Oh, this looks amazing. What have we done? Wow. I okay. was I was imagining like so, a little slider, but these on. are like full on sandwiches. So we'll get back to that in a second. So basically, yeah, you order your food up at the front, but then you come and you sit down and you have a pager and then you have a like a server. And so if you want to yeah. order more or you want to order anything else, they can actually take that at your table, which that's I, I think that's kind of a more efficient concept. For I really sure. like that. Yeah. I am so excited. These <laughs> Brussels sprouts look so good. I think we need to try those first, okay. don't you? Sure. All right, now to try this monstrosity of food. So we're gonna try the Brussels sprouts first, um, and then we're gonna try the trio. I know one of them is the low and slow, one of them's a fried chicken, and I think the third one's like some sort of rib something. But we're gonna try the Brussels sprouts first. I want this one. So they have like a caramel glaze. Wow. I think those are some of the best Brussels so sprouts good. I've ever had. They're really crispy, but they're sweet. But you still get the savoriness of the Brussels sprout. Yeah. Wow, those are delicious. These, these are hands down the best Brussels sprouts I've ever had. Aren't you glad I made you get them? I wanted to get the beans. Uh, no. <laughs> Although I'm sure the beans are also probably delicious, but these are... Wow. Okay, so it's the Southern Pig, the Low and Slow Brisket, and Fried Chicken. So I think this is the pig. This looks like pig. It also could be Low and Slow, too. I'm not sure. This is definitely... The, the middle one is definitely the fried chicken. They're questionable. I know, yeah, this one's definitely the chicken. Okay. All right, let's get messy. We've got plenty of paper towels, yeah. so we're good. Oh man, I can already tell so just by picking this up, this is gonna be delicious. Oh, it looks so juicy. <laughs> so, if you've watched a lot of our vlogs, you know that I love the brisket burn-ins sandwich at Flower and Garden. This is way better. Like, so smoky. Those are big words. Because you've said that that was like the best barbecue that you've No, had. hands down, I think this is some of the best barbecue I've ever had. <laughs> it's so smoky, it's tender, it's juicy. It has such a good flavor to it. It's seasoned well. The, there's a slaw on top that gives it a little crunch. So it's it's not just like soggy. It, the texture is perfect. Wow, I'm excited. I wanna, can I try? I wanna try. You definitely need lots this of napkins. Looks so good. Oh my gosh. I'm excited. Is that not delicious? That is so good. Oh, man. It's so incredibly juicy. Yeah, it's, I like, mean. Like, there's so much juice, but, like, in the best way possible. And I know that we're, like, Disney vloggers and everyone thinks that we say everything. But, like, really? No, it's so good. It's so good. 10 out of 10 already. I haven't even tried the other two sandwiches. I would come back just for that barbecue. I wish I knew which one that was. I think this is the low and slow, quite honestly. Yeah. I think this is the low and slow. Yeah. It's so tender. I want to try the next one Can first. Can you give me a napkin? So, this does have a pickle on it. What? So, I'm going to eat the part with the pickle and then I'll take the pickle off. 
Okay, the middle one is the chicken. For sure. And it's super sweet. Not as good as the first one. But it is pretty good. It's very, the barbecue sauce is super sweet. You gotta take that pickle off for me. I think I did. Alright, I'm gonna try this chicken. It's so, like, look how it's, much... That one's really messy. I would agree with what Kayla said. It, this one's not mind-blowing like the barbecue. The, I'm pretty sure it's the slow and um, slow. and slow. Low and slow. <laughs> the breading is really good. There's a lot of breading on the chicken that is very crunchy. And the barbecue sauce is very sweet. There's no spice yeah. to it. It's incredibly sweet. That one's definitely like kid friendly or like if you're afraid of any Absolutely. sort of spicy barbecue sauce, this one's very, very friendly for it's, that. Yeah, the, the sauce is very sweet, but like, look at- it's, it's very messy. Yeah, it's, you can, you can kind of see, <laughs> it's very messy. It's good. Not as good as the low and slow, but definitely very good. But I do love me some coleslaw on some barbecue. Okay, this one is the brisket. This is the brisket. Wow, one. okay. I want to say something. So I don't want this jalapeno though. So I just licked my fingers from the barbecue sauce. I think they're from the chicken. I think there is lemon. There's pimento cheese on this. What? Look. But anyway, so I think there's some lemon. I just, like I lick my fingers, there's some lemon somewhere. There's, it's very good. It's not like a chemically lemon, it almost tastes like a lemonade. I'm not even joking. It's, yeah, it's got, it's tangy, it's very tangy. No, it's straight up lemon. I just licked my fingers and there's lemon yeah. somewhere in here. So, I just about lost my mind. I love pimento cheese. It's like, like my favorite. It is my favorite. Like we're gonna have some pimento cheese at Food & Wine tomorrow and I'm so excited for it. But I, the brisket one has some pimento cheese on it and I'm here for it. So let's give this sucker a try. This one looks like this is gonna be really good. So this one is really creamy. The pimento gives it a really creamy taste and there's some jalapenos that give it just a little bit of spice. It's not overwhelming. The brisket is very, very tender too. I'm gonna have one more bite of this before I get to work. <laughs> yeah, the brisket looks very tender. That's really good. Again, I don't think it quite beats out the first one. But it is really stinking close. I will say, this is some of the best brisket yes. I've had. It's not dry at all. Again, much like the low and slow, there's such a good smoky flavor. It just, the smoky flavor is just so present in the, in the barbecue. Like, it's not just barbecue for barbecue. It's, it's it has a, such a nice smoky flavor to it. And it, honestly, that's what I love in, in a good barbecue. That's what I consider a really good barbecue is a nice smoky flavor. Well, and there's not a ton of sauce on it and I don't think that it needs it. It doesn't need it. And that's how you really know it's good barbecue. Yeah. Wow. So this restaurant, I would give a 10 out of 10. I would for sure come here if you like barbecue because it is delicious and it's very like kind of fun in here. It's just very like farm housey. Um, there's plenty of seating indoors and there's quite a bit outdoors too if you feel more comfortable with that. Um, they do also have a bar um, kind of out front that you can get like mixed drinks and things. But um, yeah, I'm really glad that we finally made it here. Cause seriously, every time we walk by it smells yeah, so good. It does, it always and smells so why. good. All right, we're gonna finish up and then go we'll to our next stop. See you at the next place, wherever that is. <laughs>
right. Well, that was a ton of fun. That was. So we actually didn't do quite as many things as we planned on, but I still feel like that we did a lot. <laughs> yeah, we got, we ended up getting super full. And I think, well, we're back at our resort, Art of Animation, yes. spoiler. Um, and I think we're just gonna go to the pool, maybe get a drink at the pool bar, and honestly just kind of relax. Yeah, it was a long day of travel. We definitely got up early this morning and, and tomorrow's gonna be another really long day and we have some really awesome stuff planned, so make sure that you're subscribed for that. But overall, I am so happy with all the things that we did. For sure. Um, I mean those Gideon cookies though. Hello from us from the future in our Little Mermaid room. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so we got the chocolate chip and then the Rocky Road. The Rocky Road is like their like special flavor for the month of August, which means it's actually only available for another like- Couple days. Two days. <laughs> um, so it will be and gone by the time you guys see this video. We got like one of the last Rocky Road cookies that they had yeah, for the day. Yeah, she was like, you guys get the very last one. I was like, Oh, dang. But that was a really cool store. I liked it a lot. I'm ready it to try. It smells so good. I'm ready to try this cookie. I've been sitting on the bed for like 10 minutes waiting for Mark Allen to set up the camera so I can try this cookie. They smell really good. So it looks like it's going to be a lot. That is a lot of sugar. <laughs> so this is the chocolate chip one. It's like eating a chocolate bar. I feel... I will say that the, so there's little salt chunks. The salt is really good. I like the salt on here. It tastes good, but honestly, I think this just tastes mostly like I'm eating chocolate chips and not so much like a cookie. Let's try the Rocky Road one. Let's see if it's any better. I actually like that one better. I'm gonna take another bite. I didn't get like a full bite. Oh gosh. That one? Tastes more like a brownie to me. Sorry for hearing us chew, it's probably gross. <laughs> That's good. Again, I think it's a lot of chocolate and they're super rich. Like I had two bites and I'm, I'm done, I'm good now. Yeah, I'm done. But I think I actually like the Rocky Road better because I think it had more. I would agree. I think it was more brownie. Like it tasted more like a brownie than, like the other one just tasted like I was just straight up eating chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> But I think the coffee was better than the cookies. I would agree. Yeah. I think we would probably go back for the coffee. I don't know that we would go back for more cookies. Or if they I have one that's less chocolatey, we might try something like that next time. Again, don't hate us. See, we don't love everything that we have at Disney. Except barbecue. Except barbecue. <laughs> and cut back to several hours ago. But you will have seen that footage because I've already put it in by this point. But I'm I'm assuming that they were absolutely delicious. They look delicious. Um, I will say uh, Jock Lindsay's should definitely be on your must-do list. Yeah. And you can easily share that bacon thing with like four people. Because I couldn't even drink like all the drink. It was so strong. But it was good. Yeah. It, was just, it was a lot. Um, the barbecue was delicious. There were a few other things that we wanted to do, but we just got too full, which is fine. Yeah. We did some shopping, got to see some Halloween merch. Overall, it was just a really awesome, fun time at Disney yeah. Springs. So I will say, Jock Lindsay's, we had talked about possibly going to Trader Sam's, and yes. I do think that Jock Lindsay's is a great alternative. Yes. A, if you can't get into Trader Sam's mm -hmm. Grog Grotto, or if the poly is just too far out of your way, I think Jock Lindsay's is a great alternative. Absolutely. The theming was, I think, just as fun as Trader Sam's, and the, the bartender um, gal that was mixing drinks, she was really loud and boisterous, but like in a fun way, kind of like they are at Trader Sam's. So I definitely think, because right now Trader Sam's is very hard to get into. Yeah. Um, but Jock Lindsay's is a great, great backup for sure. All in all, let us know what are some of your favorite places to eat at Disney Springs, because chances are we've probably not eaten there yet. Um, but let us know if you've had any of the places that we've dined at 
Um, we would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. And if you are interested in planning your own Disney World trip to come try some of this awesome food, I am actually a travel agent specializing in Disney destinations with Goofy Getaways. So hit me up down in the comments. Um, I'll reach out to you and we can start booking your magical vacation. But other than that, that's all we have for you guys today. Now, now go, go create, create your, your ever after. after. There's a bug on the lens. There's a spider right there. There's a spider. <laughs> <laughs> I got a little bit too big of a time. <laughs> we try to it. How are we gonna eat all this? What are the three different flavors? Oh, I have no idea. It's there's low and slow, slow and low. You ready to try a slider? I think so. <laughs> Which one do you want to try? The right one. The right one. All right, I'm gonna try this chicken. It's so, like, look how it's, much. That one's really messy. <laughs> We're gonna pretend that didn't happen. We'll just put that right back in there. Okay. We're gonna try this chicken. 